this March 29th marks the 32nd anniversary of the beginning of Cuba of the program of comprehensive medical attention to children victims of Chernobyl's ex accident. The program involved free treatment of patients with elements of different degrees of severity and has been followed by many from the fields of both the research, the research and the media due to its high humanitarian value. Details in the following story. It is the Cuba filmmaker and photographer Roberto Chile, one of the directors of the documentary Sasha and Shai of Chernobyl, together with journalist Maribel Acosta. They reconstruct from the present one of the longest medical programs in history. It is also Chile, the man behind the camera, and together with Fidel, who captured these images on March 29, 1990, when the first 139 Ukrainian children victims of the Chernobyl nuclear accident arrived in Cuba for free treatment. It was a really touching moment. Phil seemed to have a certain fear that a child would fall. He touched the heads of some, made gestures to others, and we really felt very moved because we knew that we were going to be many more children, thousands of children who were going to come to Cuba to be safe, to be cured. He tells us that this story was developed between Havana and Ukraine, an idea that was born from the Cuban Office of the Regime of Latin America platform. The gratitude is sincere, it is boundless. They really believe that without Cuba they wouldn't be what they are now, without the Cuban support and solidarity and the humanism of our people. Some of them won't be alive and others will have incurable disease for the rest of their lives. More than 26,000 children, adolescents and young people from Russia, Belarus and Ukraine received medical treatment on the island for more than two decades in a very complex economic context for the country. We were in the middle of the special period with the disintegration of the Soviet Union and of course this led us to adopt measures. But above all there was something fundamental, which was the political will of the state and the people of Cuba to contribute with their support, with their efforts, with the means they had in their hands at that time, to the rehabilitation of those children who were affected by the Chernobyl catastrophe. All the results that Cuba had been undertaking from the biotechnological point of view since the 80s were tested in them for the first time. Therefore, the melagenin of Dr. Millares Cao as a scientific discovery was applied in the children of Chernobyl with very good results for all dead skin issues, which were the most serious ones, such as alopecia, vitiligo, and psoriasis. Interference were tested on them with extraordinary results that is to say, the biotechnological industry was also tested and took the challenge with the children of Chernobyl. 39 minute documentary brings to the present the testimonies of those who in one year or another were linked to the program almost a decade after its termination. And when today we are living one of the saddest events, which is this war between two countries that are brothers, whose Slavic origin is common, this story alone would be worthwhile to open the eyes of those who in this world as for, as for weapons and sell weapons to kill, because without memory there is no future. Without memory there is no sustainability of any worthwhile human project. For 21 years, the program of attention to children victims of the Chernobyl nuclear accident has been extended in the Caribbean island, a program that has been considered by many one of the most beautiful stories of solidarity and an expression of the best potentialities that human beings have. Lisandra Andrés, Telesur, La Habana, Cuba.